Okay, uh, Neil Young. <clears throat> hey, hey, my, my. Um, let's start off with the ba it's a basic, the basic chords of the song are going to be A minor to G to F. I actually play an F major 7 here, which is just, um, you can play it with your D string, 3rd fret, B string, 2nd fret, I mean G string, 2nd fret, and then the B string on the 1st fret, and I leave the top E open. And that's a nice little voicing of F2. So if you do that... Then you go to a, the second part, you go to C, to G, to the uh, A minor, to F. And then back to the A minor, to G, to F. So then you can throw in some cool uh, licks that you can come up with on your own. <clears throat> and even steal from uh, Neil Young to go from each one of those chords. Um, and you can use this in your playing whenever you're playing any songs that have this in there. So one way I can play it is um, like this is just um So let's look at some of those licks that you can get in there. So you can start off by just hitting the A, and I'm just playing the bottom half. It looks like I'm probably playing A major, but that's because A minor and A major have the exact same bottom half of the notes on this fingering right here. So I'm just going to play the A string and the D string. So that's all I'm playing. So And I'm lazy, and I don't want to do this. So just go A, and then you can go which is open on the A string, and then 2, 3, and then open on the D string. And then what I like to do is right after that, instead of playing that full G, I just like to play like just the top half of it. Just like an upstroke with just my, basically my, play the third fret of the uh, top E string. So you can go. Second fret A string open, third fret bottom E string and then open. I mean, second fret A and then open, and then third fret of the bottom E and then open A. That's a cool little link to get in there too before you go back to the A to the F. So if you put that together, you got. We'll do it slow. We'll go. that F, major 7, and then A, and then I like this lick right here that I always do seem to do a lot is, and I can take you right to the F, so the way I do that is, go open D string, and hammer on, and pull off on the 2nd fret. So I'm going to go open, second, open, and then second fret of the A string, and then back to the open D again. So it takes you right to the F, right? Open A. So if you put those together, you got a couple little licks in there to kind of throw in between those chords. So you got... Now the next chord after that is going to be C, so I just hit the 
the C note on the third fret of the uh, A string, and then strum the whole C. So, and then so you're just kind of outlining a C chord. So you play third fret of the C uh, A string, open D string, and then second fret of the D string, and then open G string, right? Hit that G again, and then I do that same thing that I was doing on the D and A string, but now I'm doing it on the G and D strings. Same exact thing to the A minor, right? So if you put those, you got. Line. After you hit that A minor, go 3rd fret, bottom E, open, and then there's the F note on the 1st string, because you're going to be going to F, right? So those are, those are some of the licks, and, and the cool thing is you can use these licks anytime you're going to be going, you know, a good thing to practice is when, you're, when you have a simple song with a simple chord progression, try and figure out like either walking the bass line or little licks you can do within that chord going to the next chord, right? And uh, it'll make your it'll make it a lot more fun to play and it'll sound a lot cooler too than, than just sitting there all day and just going A minor, G, F. It sounds cooler if you can get some licks on there, right? singing, the chords is A minor, G to F, right? Repeat it. And I think that the, the strum pattern is a little bit slower, like he, he goes. Anyways, uh, it's a cool song, and uh, hopefully some of these licks you can incorporate into this song and then also when you're playing other songs, um, because there's about a trillion songs out there that have A minor, G, and C, it's such a pop and F that has such a good chord progression there. And just kind of use your own ears, and uh, I like to use as many open strings because I like the sound of open strings a lot. So. Try and figure out different ways you can come up with legs and, and mix them in there. Okay, so we'll go over it one more time, and uh, this is just kind of an outline of the way I play it, and uh, enjoy the song. So.